Low biologists in today's daily revision task, you are asked to draw a detailed diagram that shows the structures and functions and the components of the mammalian gases exchange system. Most mammalian lungs have the same basic structure. They've got a trachea, which leads from the mouth and the nose and splits into bronchi, which in turn splits into bronchiolus which leads to the alveoli, which are found in the lungs. Remember, the alveoli is where gaseous exchange is taking place. These form a pair of inflatable structures, so the lungs, which is supported by the ribs and the diaphragm, which allow the animal to inspire and expire. It's worth noting at this point that the lungs themselves do not have any muscle tissue in them. It's the diaphragm and the ribs that's causing a change in pressure within the cavity that the lungs are sitting in, which causes them to expire and inhale. The trachea, bronchi and bronchiolus are well adapted to their tasks. They're composed of different tissues, each which performs a different function. The trachea and bronchi have similar structures However, they differ in size. The outer layer is made of cartilage. This is a relatively rigid structure and supports the trachea and bronchi, preventing them from collapsing when the air pressure inside them is low after expiration. The cartilage does not form a complete ring around. This allows some flexibility, for example, allowing it to expand and move just in case you swallow or anything it, it allows for it to be coughed back out the next layer is composed of glandular tissue and connective tissue and smooth muscle elastic fibers with blood vessels the outer layer is made of cartilage like we just said with this inner layer that's made of of these other tissues allow allow for more movement and for the production of different substances so the smooth muscles allow the lumen which is the space inside to constrict by contracting this is useful if there's any harmful substances in the air as it minimizes the amount of substances that are breathed in the elastic fibers allow the lumen to dilate so widen after the smooth muscle is contracted and then relaxed. Finally, the inner lining of the trachea and the bronchi is layered in ciliated epithelial cells containing globular cells or goblet cells. Ciliated epithelium consists of cells within or with cilia. The glandular tissue and goblet cells secrete mucus, which is then wafted up the airways by the cilia back up towards where the, um, the epiglottis is, where you will then be able to swallow the mucus down into your stomach and any harmful microorganisms which have collected there will get digested. The bronchus tend to be narrower and have less cartilage than the trachea and bronchi. Their walls are mainly made up of smooth muscle and elastic fibres though they may still have a lining called of ciliated epithelium. Hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.